this lifestyle. Some people say it's a dream. They say it's a dream. It's all about cream. Oh, Money making in my jeans. In my jeans. I got a hustle. hustle. Every little chance I get. Every chance that I get. See, I gotta make it. Make it. I'm trying to be filthy rich. Yeah. Filthy rich. Filthy rich. Yeah. Lambo full of currency. Money. Uh, Feeling like I'm 6'9. Uh -huh. Look, my mansion got 30 rooms. The Matella suit fits just fine. Party in Dubai, get the jet flying. Let's go. Pre gaming, 40,000 feet up. Let's do it. Feet up. I'm drinking Henny, smoking weed up. We up. It's like the whole team. Weed up. See us. Making money moves. We just. Adjust to yes. anything that they throw at us. I remember back in the day, they didn't notice us. But now they be going nuts every time we be showing up. It's hard to miss diamonds and sparkle from eight blocks. Rolex watch, 180 rocks. No longer risk it all on the block, I risk it in stock. Spend a little money, the rest go back in the pot. I'm trying to be. tell you a story this is brick city and the year is 2014 the barraza crime family is organizing the entire underworld to create a secret society called the umbrella a plan put in motion decades ago when mr barraza senior had a son out of wedlock and raised him in secrecy to become the mayor under his rule, the umbrella would thrive, and all of his members would be sovereign citizens. But there's one problem. A nosy journalist hell-bent on exposing the umbrella before it can open up and protect those under it. And this is how our story begins. The origin of Queen how she got into prostitution and became the biggest pimp in a corrupt city. With the help of her friends, Hassan and Sky, she sets the underworld on fire. Somebody's gotta pay for what they did to her. Queen! Yes, Mom? I need you to go to the store for me and get some flour and some olive oil. Can Lisa come with me? No, Lisa has to watch the baby while I cook. And stay away from that boy, Hassan. You know he ain't nothing but trouble. Hold on. Yeah, I'm glad you gave me a duplicate of all of those photos from the meeting. Yeah, the gangs and stuff from meeting up. This is gonna be crazy. Once this gets out to the world, we're gonna expose them all. Yeah, everything's fine. No, everything's fine. I'm on my way home now to upload them. Don't even worry about it. You just worry about that family of yours. Take care of your family. We got this. All right, later. Okay, how my queen doing? I'm okay. No, you're not. What's that face about, huh? Well, it's Sky's birthday party. It's this Saturday, and... Okay. She's turning 14. I know. The okay. last birthday party I went to, she turned nine. Please, please, can I go this Saturday? Uh, queen, we talked about this already. 
You know we're going to pay our respects as a family. And you are family. Now, I'm sorry, G, my anniversary falls on the same day as your friend's birthday party, all right? But blood is thicker than water, okay? Okay. Look, besides, she'll be at your birthday party in a couple months, okay? Cool? Okay. Well, I have to go to the store for mom. All right, well, you go and hurry up and get back because you know how your mom is, all right? Okay, daddy. Give me some. Love you, Daddy. Love you more, baby. Hurry up. moral obligation. And what about us, your family? I'm doing this for us. Listen, I'm on the front lines every day. And it's only gonna get worse. Pretty soon, we won't even be safe in our own home from these thugs. And somebody's gotta do something. Babe, you're just a journalist. I know you're for the people, but let the police do their job. These people are gonna hurt us. Are you willing to risk that? Yes, I am. Hey, Queen. What's up? Where are we going? We. Yeah, we. These some mean streets. I gotta protect you. I can take care of myself, Hassan. And you know my mom does not want me hanging with you. She thinks you're a criminal. It's because you are. Listen, I'm not a criminal. I'm a survivor. This survivor got three new iPhone 4s. One for me. One for Sky as a birthday present, and one for you if you want an early birthday present. Well, I don't even know where you got any of them from, but are they cracked? Come to Saladin's house and find out. Saladin, he lives all the way across town. I'm supposed to come right back. Okay, no problem. If somebody wants the bomb. Can't say I won't sell them. Wait! I'm okay, nigga. I'm forever gonna bang out. This M1 cock.
We got a lot of ammo in this chopping hole like 50 shots. He kept dissing on my mans in my DM. Now he shot. I've been waiting to get up with you on God. It got me hot. Me and my guys, we think about running in your shit like we the SWAT. We the kid. He the scary type. He probably call the cops. He ain't no street nigga. No sense to kill him. You gon' get locked. Rather be the setting with this gun and make him go and shot. And I ain't no average nigga. So this Glock, I keep it cop. And my PO on my ass. So yeah, his number I had to block. Hey yo, I'm about to order this motherfucker up. Chill out! Let me out! Chill the fuck out! Look, this ain't nothing personal, this is just business. This is what you get for snooping around with that journalist nigga. Hey yo, tired the fuck up, I gotta take this call, yo. They all dead, right? Yeah, I guess. What you mean you guess? Well, you said he had a son and a daughter, right? Well, I seen a young girl come out right before I went in. Did she see you? I don't think so. I mean, you want me to kill her too? Nah, she a little girl. Plus the journalist is dead. Everybody in that house is dead. Yeah, what's going on, Mr. Barraza? Yeah, that job that you had for me? Yeah, that's done. But look, let's talk about my position in the umbrella. I want to meet with the higher ups. I know they don't meet with everybody, but given anything I've done for them, I think you need to arrange that. Yo, you know where the dump at, yo? Mr. Barraza Sr. sits at the head of the umbrella. He calls all the shots. He created the higher-ups to give the illusion that there were some other people in control. I'm in so much trouble. Look at it like this. It took you two hours to get out phone four. I ain't gonna hold you. It's late. It's worth the punishment. So did you ask your father to come to the party? That's a big no. Oh. I just... After Queen's family was murdered, a few relatives tried to take her in, but she became too much for them to bear. She wound up in the Dyfus system, ran by Mr. Booker, an umbrella affiliate who makes side money trafficking little kids. Mrs. Smith, a desperate social worker who's an advocate of Queen, is trying to convince Mr. Booker the queen needs help, but to no avail. Hello? Thank you for calling Dyfus, where we treat every child like our own. How may I help you? It's me again. 
Mr. Smith? Yes? You just called five minutes ago. Five minutes before that. And then five minutes before that. Listen, I really need to speak with Mr. Booker. I don't know what to tell you. Like, if I, I to, I'm telling you he's not here. There's nothing I can do about that. Like, I'm trying to tell you, you called, he's not here. He's never available. Yeah, I know. Well, what do you want me to do about Did that? Did you show him the drawings? Oh, my goodness. That I left? Yes. That Queen drew? Yes, yes. There's hundreds of them. Oh, Jesus. All of them. Yes, all of them. I think she has survivor's remorse or something. Jesus Christ. So survivor's remorse. Now, now you're a doctor, Mrs. Queen Smith? Queen really desperately needs psychological help. For the 15th time, for the 15th time today, Mr. Smith, he's not here. Listen, they killed her parents, her little cousin, and her three-year-old baby brother. She's traumatized. No, seriously, Mrs. Smith, he's not here. He's not here. I don't know where he is, but in two days, I can I can give you information where you can catch him. It's been two months. How much longer? My cousin down south needs a baby boy. I thought you were the man for this shit. Just trust me. I'm on it, Donna. It's Mrs. Barraza. Oh, yeah, that's right. Mrs. Barraza. <laughs> I can assure you, I'm still working on finding you that baby. I'm looking day and night. You know it's not that easy. Mr. Booker! Ah, shit. Come this pain in the ass. Damn, that's about time I found this guy. We need to talk. I'll be right back, okay? Go ahead, go handle your business. I'll be right here. Thank you. What? Mr. Booker, it's getting worse. Oh, yeah? She won't eat. She won't talk to anyone. I don't even think she sleeps much. Mrs. Smith, look, we went over this a thousand times already. And Queen, she's very high risk. She's prone to develop mental and psychological issues. Also forgot to mention the substance abuse. That's why I cannot find her a good home. You can't or you won't. So what does that mean? We turn our back on her? No. It just means that there's nothing we could do at this point to help her. That's going to be a fire that burns out within itself. Look, give it like five, six, hell, even seven years. And she'll either be dead, in prison, or turned out by some fucking pimp. Who gives a shit? To just let her age out and let that headache go. You know what? Thanks. Thank you for all of your help. It's been 10 years since the murder of Queen's family. And on the anniversary every year, she visits the grave sites at night. I never understood why she did it at night. But that was a thing. I guess you can't question the Queen. Hassan grew to be the man. He's the leader of the Mid-8 Boys, a powerful street gang in the city. Some call Hassan the Messiah. The only one that can unite all the gangs. All the gangs except one. Frog and the Kings, the Mid-8 Boys' number one nemesis. You sure you want to do this tonight? I mean, today is the anniversary and all.
It's been 10 years and still no arrest. It's crazy. I've been having dreams when my mother and father have been coming to me. It's like they want me to find out who killed them. Make they asses pay. I've had my ear to the streets and none of my people know nothing. Neither do the cops. I think my father was right. Yeah. I always thought it was crazy, but it's a lot of foul shit going on around here. Hundreds of unsolved murders, people disappearing. Niggas get caught with pounds out the next day. You a fuck? Oh shit, they go to Mark. You checked them out, right? He's good? Yeah, I've been trying them for three days. Three days? I told you, we need a case to Mark for at least one week. We have to make sure they're not sleeping with the mob. We don't need that headache. We all good. Trust me. I know all the mobsters. I ain't never seen this nigga before. No wife with him, no kids. He on vacation with a whole lot of money. Are you sure we good? We all the way Gucci. This nigga spent six racks on Mount Pleasure. Two on Fat Tiny Hoes and another four at the Sugar Shack. Like it was nothing. This nigga like... Tricking on chickens, licking and sticking. Hey, excuse me. See, you got your bodyguard with you. I don't need nobody to guard this body, Tiny. Look, stop playing with me. You know what I can't do for you? I'm sure you're gonna tell me. Nah, I'm not gonna make my bitches them tell you. Bitches. Tell this bitch how good me treat you. Master Tiny treats us very well. Yeah, queen. We all get free room and board. We all have our own cars. We take trips accordingly. I mean, life is pretty sweet. You should join our team. You know I've been with every pimp in the city. And Tiny, <laughs> that Tiny, he's the best. Him and Sugar. Bitch, we are advertised. Me, I'm the biggest blood clot competition. Get back in at the fucking car. Sorry, Daddy. No! Look, when you're ready for make some real money, holla at me. You making me bottom bitch. Treat you like a queen. No pun intended. Let me think about it. Nah, I'm good. I like to be in control of my own money. Have a nice day, Fat Tiny. Bitch, you're gonna be mine one day. You just don't know it yet. What can I get for you, darling? Uh, I have a double shot of Henny on the rocks, please. Mm -hmm. I'll pay for it. No, thank you. Keep your money. I insist. You rich guys are all the same. Always trying to buy pussy. When was it ever a crime to buy a beautiful woman a drink? And what makes you think I'm rich? <laughs> I saw the car outside, the Bugatti. I didn't see any rental stickers on it, so it's yours. And those black diamonds in your ears, very impressive. And your watch. It has real diamonds. I can see the inclusions from here. Don't ask. I have a magnifying eye when it comes to diamonds. They are a girl's best friend. Wow. I'm very impressed. <laughs> very close attention to detail. I'm Rico, by the way. And I'm Queen. And the pleasure is all yours. Oh, is it? Yes. You know what? Let's get out of here. 
For the past two years, Queen and Haas have been making a living by using Queen as bait to lure unexpecting rich men into an ambush. An easier, safer come up than selling drugs. Since the umbrella was established, all nine members have been having a rough time making a decent criminal living. What's the news? Got some bad news. Give it to me. Rico's dead and the money's missing. Did you check the cameras? This shithole motel? The cameras is just for show. On every door, nobody saw nothing. Make sure nobody saw you. Hey, knocked on every door, nobody saw nothing. Find out who did this. Well, don't worry, I'm gonna find out who did this. Matter of fact, y'all got cameras at the club, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna look through the footage. She was there, she was looking suspect. Get back to me as soon as possible. I'm on it. Oh, yeah. Hey, it's about to get real wet outside. Niggas about to get rained on. Trust me on that. Hey, hey, hey! Don't nobody touch nothing! Matter of fact, clear the area! Anxiety must be kicking in. <laughs> you think I'd be over it by now with all our sessions, right? Come here. Yeah, well, this isn't something that just disappears overnight, you know? You have some serious childhood drama. You're gonna have difficulties trusting, low self esteem, fears of being judged, constant need to please, outbursts of frustration. Okay, okay, enough already. If I wanted a session, we'd be in your office. Baby. Hmm? Can you just be my woman and not my therapist right now? Hmm. I'm both. But, okay. I'll put away the therapy mode for now. But I'm gonna give it to you straight. Your father really messed you up. And I get it. But you're a grown man now. You control you. You know, I still have nightmares of my first murder at 12. I just, I just can't believe he had me kill a man at 12 fucking years old. While other kids was Riding bikes and playing hide and go seek. I was chopping bodies. Hiding them from the police. You know, as much as we talked about your love-hate relationship with your father, 
I know you wished your childhood would have been different, but it could never be. Your father is the head of the biggest crime family in the state. <laughs> and I know you've seen a lot, but you've got to get past it. You'll be in charge soon. When my father dies, how can I run an organization I despise? You have to. You're his only son. <laughs> Who else is going to take over the empire? <laughs> if you only knew. Yeah, well, if you tell me this big secret that you've been keeping from me, I'd know. You know, as your therapist, I'm bound by the confidentiality clause. Which means I could never repeat anything you tell me. You do know this. I want to tell you, but... You're not a member. And... For your safety, I, I, I just can't. Okay. I just can't. But... I know what'll cheer you before you go see your father. So many hours leading up to the tribulation, alarm buzzing like bee swarms, clutter in the bedroom, said there's no longer my focus. Devoted all that time to ripping instrumentals, I don't need jars, baggages, free loads, coming packages on a slow groove, come inside the pool, you won't drown. Lyrics so your lifeline, please pick up. The Umbrella's been thriving for nearly a decade now under Mr. Barraza's rule. But he's now terminally ill and decided that his oldest son, Manny, will take his place when he's gone. This decision stirs up deep-rooted pain for both the brothers. Don't worry. Nobody saw me come in. What's the problem now? The problem is, Pop, your other son, he's soft, way too soft. <sighs> Thank God you're still calling the shots. But I swear, when you go on, we're gonna need a better leader. Somebody that's gonna keep the family on top. Someone like you? Of course, like me. Pop. Listen, all the sacrifices I've made for this family, all the work that I put in, aren't you proud of me, Pop? Now, all my life I've been treated like a fucking secret. Because you are. Well, I'm tired of being a secret. I want to take my rightful place beside you just allow me to do that before you die. I'm not Manny. I didn't get to spend every, every birthday and all the holidays with just you. What do you want from me? For starters, I'd like to not have to sneak around to see my father before he dies. Let's start right there. You know, Pop, ever since I was a little boy, it's been the umbrella. It's always been the umbrella. But what about me, Pop? What about me? What about the kid that just, that just wanted to see 
and spend time with just his dad. Enough! <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, have them ship the shipment to another location. Oh, what? I'll, I'll call you back. Pop, you okay? You okay, Pop? I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. What's he doing here? I was just leaving. I'll walk you out. After you. The two brothers, Manny and Vincent, have a love-hate relationship. They're both envious of the other's life for obvious reasons. One of the biggest industries in this little city of sin is the pimp game. The city's crawling with pimps, but none bigger than Sugar Lou, a fifth generation pimp who runs a spot called the Sugar Shack where you can get a bite to eat and more. Only Umbrella members know that Manny and Vincent are both Barraza bloodline. Anyone who would expose this will be unharmed, but their whole family will be massacred. <laughs> See, you still got your pups with you, huh? <laughs> Maybe you should teach them how to keep their noses clean. <laughs> I don't see you complaining when they're out there doing our dirty work. My father allowed you to be around here. I don't. It's bad for business. Well, man, it was different when he was mobile. He was able to come see me. But he didn't. But he could have. He could have. But now that he's immobile, how else am I going to get to see him? You can FaceTime him. FaceTime him. Manny, when are you going to get it through your thick fuck? When are you going to get it through your thick fucking head, Manny, that he's my father too? And when are you gonna get it through your thick fucking head that no one can know that your bloodline is Barraza? You think they'll allow you to still be in office once they find out who your father is? Internal affairs, the feds, judges and lawyers, they're all in line. The one thing we can't control is the public if they start protesting. They'll remove you from office. And what happens then? We crumble under the new administration. Our legacy is at stake. Oh, I forgot. It's all about the legacy, right? <laughs> I expect your full cooperation when I'm in charge. You mean when we're in charge, my brother. You just don't get it, huh, brother? Dog, take me home. Go get that shit from Lou and everybody on the south side, because they do. not to be let back in the fucking house. If he does, it's your ass. I promise you that. Fucking guys, man. What the fuck does it take to get good help around this fucking place? It's okay. 
It's going to be okay. I had to do it. I had to. You had to kill him? Yes. He runs numbers for the Barraza family. Oh my God. How do you know? The money has smiley face stickers on it. My Spanish nigga told me they put smiley face stickers on the money right before they send it out. Oh my God. We... We got Barraza crime family money. What are we gonna do? I knew it. I knew this just didn't feel right. I told you, we need a case tomorrow for at least one week. Three days is not enough, Hassan. Now look at the shit you got us into. Hey, Sky. You okay? What's up? Yeah, it's all good. I'll, I'll tell you later. What's the word, though? You won't believe I was servicing one of those Spanish guys outside of Barraza meeting house. I was in a car because you know how those older Spanish niggas be about black women. Taboo. I seen the mayor pull up with Mad Dog and Mahoney. Wait. Mad Dog and Mahoney? Or with the mayor at the mob boss's house? Was the whole force there? Queen said, was it only them there? Tell her yes. She said just them. Ask her how long they stayed inside. Look, I'm not doing this. How long did they stay inside? For a minute until Junior came home. Don't look like the mayor and Junior like each other too much. I couldn't make out what they were saying, but it didn't look too friendly. You want a drink, Daddy? Nah, baby, I'm good, but uh, go get that for me. And when you do, get a bitch ready for our auto loop guest here. No, thanks. We're here on business. Busy men, you know. Yeah, I see you busy collecting all these fees, which I'm not complaining about. This situation suits me well. Well, that's why the umbrella was created for low-life scum like you. Scum like me, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you get a free pass, Lou. You can run your little whorehouse without consequence. You want someone murdered? We take care of it. You want someone locked up? Or you need them out? We got you. Being under the umbrella makes you Superman, but fall short on your payments and we'll be your kryptonite, motherfucker. My only kryptonite is being broke, boy. I got the money, Daddy. Thank you, baby. Give it to him. Mahoney's getting service in the car. I have local leche for you, Mad Dog. From one scum to another, I will take her up on that offer. Her mouth work, legendary. Everything on move, you know who you with. Yeah. Nigga, what? 
You fuck my bitch, I fuck your bitch, oh now you petty, huh? Now you wanna go to war, you think you ready, huh? Pull some strings and we can meet, sound like spaghetti, huh? Put that sauce all on your shirt, that shit get messy, huh? Nigga, you don't know shit, he don't know shit. Throwing them, going up the pole and striking with that faux fill. Nigga said I'm messy, nah, he don't know shit. Come up in his granny house and hit her, they like, oh shit. Bro, you know what happened. Yo, we got litty, we got fucked up, and we decided to bring the party back to her place. And then, you know, shit happened. I had that pussy singing. <laughs> Bro, you know Fat Tiny know that you was with her last night, right? And what that mean? Bro, you know when it come down to Fat Tiny bitches, ain't no such thing as personal pussy, my boy. Did you pay her, bro? Hell no. Fuck out of here. Bro, you, bro, you should just break off 1500 You feel me? All right, bro. 15? 1500 That bitch need to be paying me. Bro, she go back to that nigga with no money. It's going to be a problem for both of y'all, bro. That's her pill. She's, she's scared of him, not me. Hey, my boy. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, bro, I'm gonna get out with you, you heard? <laughs> you bug it. She in the shower. I'm about to bust that shit down again before I leave, all right? You heard? I'm at you. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, Hello, Mr. Barraza. It's about time. Yeah. Sorry, it took me so long to get back to you about that motel robbery. What'd you see? Well, nothing out of the ordinary, you know. Except, you know, Jose, he was in a in a car trigger with some hoe. But other than that. <laughs> oh, was he? You know, wait, 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 wait. Uh, didn't you actually forbid people from doing business and tricking all that in front of the club? I sure as fuck did. You know what? She might be the lookout for whoever did it. So you think so, huh? Yeah. You know what? I think you need to bring her in. Listen. My gut, my instinct, everything in me is telling me. She might have something to do with it. Don't worry. I know what to do. You know what? I'm going to send a picture to you and your boys. I'm going to let Junior take care of it. It's about to be thunderstorms for that bitch. Real. Call Lou and tell him we're gonna send for her. All right. They had a bag on it, huh? I never asked for it, huh? I did the digital gas with no money on the dashboard, huh? What? I was broke back then. I had to fast. I was broke. Closed mouths don't get fed. We made a max. We were broke. I was staying in the back. It was all the year. Huh? They couldn't see me. Got the year. Nah. Where's Sig? He all the year. Yeah. He was always in a party. Yeah. Log well, on, Johnny. Huh. Where y'all coming from? Out, working, hustling, business, you know? Where y'all from? Yo, Clutch club money while we are from. Yo, money. Yeah, my money, nigga. I'm gonna sleep with Coca last night. Alright, look, look, man. We drinking, had a couple drinks, you know what I'm saying? Pop a pill. One thing led to another, you know how shit happened. You feel me? Hey, nigga. That's my bitch. If you sleep with her, you owe me, nigga. Excuse me? Bro, she was consensual. She agreed to it. She wanted it. So I gave it to her. Yo, non consensual about what? my bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Going to sugar loads, you know. You can't pay a fame girl, them, but you want to fuck mine for free, my youth. Next time you see me, I'm gonna bust your head. Oh.
Okay, no problem. I'll let him know. Yes. Mayor Morales, the press is outside about that motel murder. And Chief Brady, she's on line one. Okay, put the press in the press room and um, tell the chief give me a minute. Chief Brady, I'll transfer you in a minute. Is this line secure? Of course, why wouldn't it be? Did you take care of a little problem? The hotel situation or her sign? You know who to talk to about the motel robbery. You, you just take care of son. Um, I actually made a fit more for his arrest and just sent your favorite dynamic duo, Reels and Richardson, to go make the arrest. You know, you gotta let the good guys think they're doing something. Just handle it, all right? It doesn't even matter. We fucked. Look, I don't know what you're gonna do, but you can stay here as long as you need. I gotta go down to Sugar's. My ship about to start. Oh, damn. damn, shorty. Man, you looking good. Ain't you from the Sugar Shack? Yes. You looking good too. How much for a blowjob? I'm too old for you and the wrong sex from what I hear. You fucking pedophile. Whatever, bitch. That fucking guy needs to be a registered sex offender. A few little boys came over here telling me how he tried to fill up on them. He needs to be in jail. Little boys, huh? Yes, he's sick. Look, I should be back by 2 a.m. It's a slow night at the shack tonight. Hold on, it's Lou. Hey, Daddy, I'm on my way. You was tricking outside the Barraza meeting house last night. Huh? I told you about that shit. That's why I got the shack. And now, they think you had something to do with a robbery that happened last night. What? Yeah, they about to pick you up. So send them your location. You best be ready. And bitch, I pray you ain't had nothing to do with this. Oh, no, 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 daddy. Okay, I'm going now. Oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. Fuck, what, what's wrong? Mr. Barraza Jr. wants to see me about the robbery. Welcome to the Sugar Shack. You here for the food or for the sugar? Look at me. You don't know nothing, okay? They're gonna kill me if I don't talk. No, they won't. They don't know nothing yet. I don't wanna die. Just trust me. If they knew, we'd all be dead, okay? You just leave it up to me. I have a plan. This is what you gonna tell them. It's cold in the streets, so cold in the streets, it's so cold in the streets, it's so cold in the streets, cause we thugging, we thugging, we street thugging, we street thugging, we street thugging, we thugging, we street thugging. <laughs> It wasn't me. I would never set you up. I was just getting some head. That's all I was doing, Mr. Brown. You gotta believe me, man. We go way back. I wouldn't do that to you, man. Come on, man. That blood in my mouth and shit. Come on, man.
Yo, boss. That's the girl. She in the other room. I'm only going to ask you one time, and one time only. Where's my money? Mr. Barraza, I don't have any idea, sir. I was just turning my truck in the car. How convenient is that? You turn a trick outside my club the same night I get robbed? What a coincidence, huh? How was that? I don't know anything. I had nothing to do with it. You have to believe me. I'm not stupid. I would never be in the company of somebody who robbed you. I don't know anything. But if I did know, I would... What? Tell. What is it? It's probably nothing, but... I know someone that started spending a lot of money all of a sudden. He ordered four girls yesterday, and he was popping mad bottles. This nigga wouldn't even buy a bitch a drink two days ago, and now he's splurging money with smiley faces on it? Do you know where he lives? I sure do. I, I, I don't get it, Rios. I just, I just don't get it. Right. First, the chief tells us we need more evidence if we want to move in on the sugar shack, right? Right? But then she wants us to come arrest Hassan. She didn't even tell us why he's under arrest or what. Yeah. It's, it's just not making sense. There you go, right there. Should we take him down? No, no, hold on. Thank God, Sky. Fuck! She gonna talk. No, she not. I got a plan. Where's the money? It's in my room, under the mattress. Get me out of jail, Queen. Look, you can do it. Go play, go play. How you doing, Quinn? I'm good. Listen, Jay, I called you 
called you here because I need a favor. Okay. Listen, you remember Jimmy, right? The little pedophile on the block. Yeah, Jimmy. I got a plan to remove him permanently. I need to borrow your son. My son? Listen, you gotta trust me on this, okay? I don't know, Queen. Listen, your son is five, right? Well, you're not always gonna be around to protect him. We need to get that nigga off the streets. My son, Queen? Jay, how long have you known me? Oh, wow. Exactly. And I wouldn't come to you with this if I didn't really need your help. Little man is gonna be all right. You have to trust me, okay? Come all on. right. Come on, trust me, trust me, I got you. You said we gonna get rid of that sex offender? We gonna get rid of him. Let's go. All right. Pretty heavy. A whole lot of money in this bag. You gonna break me off? Trust me, you don't want none of that money, but I got you. What's up, little man? Well, where's your parents? I'm nowhere. Your parents not around? Why don't you come on inside? We can okay. wait for your parents downstairs, okay? Okay. What are you talking about? Hey, don't act dumb. You know what I'm talking about. Give I me just, the little boy. I just brought the kid down here. I was going to call a cop. Why would you take the little kid in your house? I just brought him oh. inside. He's outside by himself. OK, so you chose to bring him inside your house? Yeah, I was going to call the cops. You know, he was outside oh, by himself. Oh, you was going to call the cops? My parents alive. Come on, little man. Come on. Damn. You were going to call the cops, huh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I should call the cops on your ass. Whoa, 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 whoa. Call the cops. He's safe in your hands right now. What do you mean call the cops? He's right there. You don't need to yeah, call the cops. I got him right now, but what were you doing with him? No, I was keeping him safe. He's out here by himself. Okay, tell me more. Keeping him safe and what? Keeping him safe. That's it. He can tell you. That's it. You all right? Yeah. You'd be ashamed of yourself. Come on now. I wouldn't do that to a little kid. Yeah, why would you take him in the house? I don't understand. You know what? I should call the cops. Whoa, 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 whoa. You don't need cops involved. Eh, eh, eh. Yeah, I'm getting the cops involved. You're... Mm. Cause, cause take get, a little boy in your house. Come on now, what was that about? Cause you, you fucking lucky. And he gonna be safer in the house with you, right? He, cause yeah, you he, fucking he, he, lucky. That's all right, babe. We, you gonna be all right. We, we, we leaving now. Bye, bye. Pedophile. Shit. Okay, have shot the fire 1754. I didn't touch that kid, I swear. Where's the money? What, what money? You want to act dumb? I don't know what money you're talking about. You know what money I'm talking about. Honestly, I don't know what you're talking about. Honestly, I don't know. I thought you was here for the, the kitty porn. Listen, Mad Dog, I didn't touch that kid, I swear. And you think I will fuck with you guys? I know what you guys do in the street. You think I will fuck with y'all about your money? Look, mad though, I told you a thousand times already. I don't know what money you're talking about. I don't know where any money is. Oh, really? I don't know what the fuck you talking about? That's not mine. Mad though, you gotta believe me. I don't know how that got there. I don't know. <laughs> Did you get the money? 
I got the money. Is he dead? Not unless he can survive a headshot. Good. Cut his hands off. Hang him outside for everyone to see. Make an example of him. You gotta chop a motherfucker's hands off. Let's get to it. It's all about the misunderstanding, dude. Come on, man. You ain't gotta act like that. Same time next week. Hold up, hold up, man. You ain't gotta open no doors around me. No, we ain't doing that. that worked. What about you? Did you save any money? No. I had to get them everything. Even a little bit of money I had saved up. Well, you and Haas better get back to work. But be careful this time. I wish Haas just got bagged. For what? I don't even know. But I gotta get him a lawyer with no money. your wolves in the den, huh? I see you left your dogs on a leash. Truthfully, I didn't think you was gonna show up alone. <laughs> this nigga. A war dog has none to fear in a motherfucking wolf territory, nigga. You know that. That's the same attitude of a lot of dead war dogs. Look, frog. Listen, nigga. The Midday Boys and the Kings been worn for years. It's been bloodshed on both sides, you know that, nigga. So when I got the word you want to meet with me, at first I was like, nah. Then I got to wondering, what the fuck you want to meet with me for? I kind of thought it was a setup too, you know? If I wanted you dead, I wouldn't have to lower you down here to motherfucker do it. <laughs> you know, I said the same shit to my son. He would have did it already. <laughs> well, good luck with that, nigga. Anyway, my curiosity got the best of me. Plus, there's pieces to the puzzle you gotta put together for me. First piece? The boy is hot. Your master? You got bagged yesterday. Look, nigga, I don't got no motherfucking master. And yeah, I know he got bagged. So what? That's something like. That's why you need me, Saladin. Need you for what, nigga? I can get you in. So you in an umbrella now? I don't know what the fuck you talking about. If there was such a thing called the umbrella, it runs deeper than that. Deeper than you could fucking imagine. Let's just say, your man, he's a threat to the community of, of these people. Hypothetically, they would let him ride in jail. It's all deal. How? How is he a threat? Hypothetically. I don't know. But here's another motherfucking piece of the puzzle. That's why I called you out, Saladin. I want to propose to you. I want to propose a merger. With who? Come on, Sal. You know you next in line. With Haas out the way, you call the shots. Always wanted to do a merger. You never did a merger because of Haas. 
instead of joining forces, you rather steal soldiers behind my motherfucking back. Yeah, I never understood that shit. I never trust y'all niggas anyway. But I'm good. Like you said, motherfucking right I'm in charge. Fuck I need you for? Cause I could get you in. How? You not even in. Plus you gotta get referred. Who gonna refer me? I'ma get Frenchie to do it. Nigga, fuck Frenchie. Why the fuck would she refer me? She owes me a huge favor. I've been sitting on for a minute. It's time to cash in. And you gonna use it to refer me? And not you? I'm good. But joining our motherfucking gangs together is my motherfucking meal ticket. And for your cooperation, I'm doing you this solid. Call it a motherfucking peace treaty. So who gonna run this, this nigga gang then? We both will. 50-50 on everything. Everything, nigga? Yeah, everything, nigga. And if you trust me, I'm gonna give you all the motherfucking pieces. So you can see a better picture, much clearer. Trust you, huh? Or not. You got 24 hours before this offer expires. We here for the food or for the sugar? They are for the sugar. Follow me. Yeah, I know your type. I rounded up two of the perfect bitches for you to choose from. Well, bring out the gal then. Sure you want this candy? It's so sweet and make your teeth rot. What else you have? What? Yes, Daddy. Right here. Yo, what I tell you about your attitude? If a customer don't choose you, they don't fucking choose you. All right? Yes, Daddy. And if they don't, you walk away. A fucking smile on your face, you got that? Yes, daddy. Yeah, get the fuck out of here, make me some. Get, get, get that money, how you do it, baby girl, just do it. No, 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 these niggas came to flex, it's time to show them sex. Pretty, pretty faces, skinny waists, can't resist when we shake our tail. Can't be pillow talking with these niggas, cause they kiss and tell. Get, get that money, how you do it, baby girl, just do it. No, 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 these niggas came to flex, it's time to show them sex. Resist when we shake our tail. Yeah. Can't be pillow talking with these niggas cause they kiss and tell. Little bitch, this nigga got mad to me, brought problems to me. Then I got rid of it. Put his ass to the curb, big mom's a bird. Plus that nigga got a little dick. He ate me out just a little bit. I came in his mouth just a little bit. When I'm up in the sheets, disturbing the peace, a freak. I like my dick, little crazy bitch. Get a nut, finger in his butt, loosen him up. Do what that do, give me the loot. All in his gut, nigga, what's up? Nigga, what's up? What the fuck with the free codes? Yeah, I seen you with the cheap hoes. We in cheap clothes. Word on the street, heard I'm a freak. Wait till you see how I deep throw. 
A queen, I crown her king, I really am the bitch. So that man, I want a house, he went and built it brick by brick. No, I love them D-boys, them ones that flip them bricks. If that nigga get pinch, I bet this pussy make him snitch. Get that money, how you do it, baby girl, just do it No, 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 these niggas came to flex, it's time to show them sex. Look, it's a warrant for the building superintendent. I want you to get at least 10 keys from out the house. Get it out the evidence room and please, please, don't let Richardson Rio see you. I don't see what the fuss is about this kid. Yeah, he's a fucking street rat. Why are the niggas upstairs wasting their time with him? See, this is why the higher ups won't promote your dumb asses. Hassan Muhammad. Has stayed. He's the only one that could unite the Bloods, the Crips, and the Latin Kings. That's a whole lot of fucking power. Then why not kill him? Yeah, put him in the dirt. You're never getting promoted. Never. <laughs> like, think about it. If we kill him, we're gonna have a bunch of angry black Latino young men looking for revenge. That jeopardizes the higher-up's agenda. But if we lock him up, then we have a bunch of young, black, Latino men who are easily influenced without this guy around stirring up trouble under the umbrella. We have to be proactive, boys. We need to put him away for a long, long time. I'm sending the press there to capture you bringing the drugs out of his apartment. Oh, and, um, Find a murder pen on him. Yeah. Don't miss me too much. Ah, oh, look who it is. <laughs> Congratulations, guys, on having the highest uh, rest rate. Thank you. Doing a lot of good work out there. Chief, listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me, Chief. Listen. Now, you told me to get more evidence, okay? I have enough evidence here to move in on the sugar shack, okay? Just look at it, please, Chief. That's... Yeah, no. This is all circumstantial. Give me something a little more concrete. Chief, I, I, I got signed statements. I, I got, I got witness notices. I, 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 I got pictures. I got, I, look, you just, just look at it, look, Chief. Look, look, look. Like I said, this is all circumstantial. Give me something a little more concrete, and then I'll give you a warrant. Yes. Get, get out. Chief, yeah, yeah, I'm Same thing as always. We don't have enough evidence to move in on the sugar shack. Didn't you show them the pictures? I showed her the pictures, I showed her the statements, I showed her the witness accounts. I, I don't know what else to do, Rios. She just will not give us a warrant to move in on the sugar shack. She, I'm telling you, Rios, something's not right around here. Man, the DA, the internal affairs, they're everywhere, all over this case. If there was something, we would know about it. They would have it. Maybe that's it, Rios. Maybe they in on it, too. That's crazy. This thing runs deep. And if we're going to get to the bottom of this, it's got to be you and me. But I got to know you in with me, rookie. All in or not. Let's go. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna put a tail on Mahoney and Mad Dog. Copy.
Did you get me a lawyer? Uh, and hello to you too. Get you a lawyer? With what money? You gave it all to him? Damn! You need to hit a lick. What? You know I can't do this without you. I know. I'm gonna tell Saladin to take you out. I don't trust him. I only trust you. Now I need a lawyer, not a public pretender. They ain't even tell me what I'm under arrest for, Queen. They trying to burn me. I need to get out of here. Queen, it's us against the world, baby girl. We got each other for life, no matter what. Remember? There's police, ambulance, everyone's out there. What did you do to him? And you won't be touching anyone else. You killed him? <laughs> it's not funny, Hassan Mohammed. You just <sighs> killed someone. He killed himself by touching you. I didn't want you to kill him. Just put him in the hospital like the last guy. I told you, if this shit happened again, I show no mercy. These grown ass men with wives at home be taking in young girls just to take advantage of them. You fucked with the wrong one this time. Queen, you're my best friend. The only consistent thing in my life. The only pure thing in my life. I love you. You know you're all I have too, Hassan. I don't know what I would be without you. Thanks for loving me. Let's make a pack, Queen. Me and you against the world, baby girl. It's us. No matter what. For life. For life. Uh, I know you're hungry, and diapers looking for you, so come hide in my place. You, GG. Hey. hey. What's up, girl? What's going on? How are you? Good. Everything good? Yes. How are you doing, boy? So, are we here for the sugar or for the food? No, we here for that sugar. Ah, I see. Yeah. We got two nasty boys on our hands. What about you, honey? I'm in the office sky. Which part of Sky there? Mm. What's the matter? <sighs> Nothing. Something's wrong. Your energy is off. You wanna talk about it? Is it me? No, I believe it's not you. It's, it's this case, Sugar Shack. Mm. You know they had us um arrest this little street thug named Hassan Muhammad. <laughs> mm -hmm. What did you guys arrest them for? I wish I knew. The warrant is confidential, it's encrypted. You need special clearance to even read it. Like, 
Mm-hmm. Me and Rios believe something, something's not, something's not right. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, you, you just started working at the mayor's office so as his personal secretary. So, did you hear Hassan's name and anything? Did anybody mention him? Like anything? No. Babe, you know I just started working there. You don't tell me anything. Maybe your wife can help you. To your mind. Off of work and our son and the mayor and all this craziness that's going on. Consider the job done. I'm good. I don't drink cheap wine. Go ahead, girl. You need to relax. She always wanted you. And I know you want me. How's we cop blacking all the time and shit? You're making me feel real uncomfortable. You better chill before I tell Hodge you out here shitting on him. <laughs> Go ahead, I don't give a fuck. Tell that nigga. He ain't getting out no time soon. How you know? Because I know. Trust me. So what's up? Your man's in jail and all you can think about is getting a piece of ass? thinks you a solid nigga and you really just don't give a fuck about him. I don't give a fuck about the nigga. Listen, Queen, listen. He might do shit for the nigga. And hell yeah, what the fuck? Look at you. What's up? Let's get a poppin'.
What's up? You sounded stressed over the phone. So you remember that huge favor I told you at Old Frog? Yeah, from 10 years ago. Well, we came to collect. You can't be serious. There's got to be some kind of statute of limitation to favors. Well, it's not. He saved my life once upon a time. And no amount of time can erase that. Yeah, but 10 years? You can't be serious. What does he want anyway? Man, he wants me to refer Sally Dean to the higher ups. So Sally Dean's gonna be me? Don't do it. You know the penalties. I know. I'm well aware of the penalties. But I owe him. Don't you think it's a little suspicious that as soon as Haas got back, Frog, who hates the mid eight boys, all of a sudden wants to refer Saladin to the higher ups? He say he wants to merge the gangs together. And I kind of believe him. Oh, really? Because around the time I was dating Frog, I tapped his phone because I thought he was cheating on me. And I heard Haas ask Frog for a ceasefire of the two gangs. Frog laughed and said, fuck the mid boys, this on sight. And he hung up the phone. Does that really sound like someone that's trying to merge two gangs together? The question is, Frenchie, what is Frog up to? Frenchie and Poochie are the two biggest drug dealers in the city. They created a hybrid drug called Cope, a mixture of Coke and dope. One hit, and without it, you can't cope. It's the latest craze. Strung out fiends all over the city are going crazy for Cope. And only Frenchie and Poochie know the secret ingredients to combine these two substances and make them non-lethal. This knowledge makes them a target for scavengers desperate to take over their empire worth millions. Good morning, man. How you doing, man? Hey, listen, you wanna take lunch? Tell everybody I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah, hey listen, I have a Saladin Watson. Yeah, he's been referred to us by uh, none other than our own pain in the ass, Frenchie. Do it. Why? Thinking, you're not thinking. Look, if she recommends somebody, she's responsible for that person's actions for 90 days. But if they fuck up within that 90-day probationary period, we can kick them out of the umbrella. Think about it. Once we kick her out, we can put our people in control of her whole operation, temporarily. Or at least that's what we'd tell them. And just leave them there. Once her team figures it out, we'll have a stranglehold on her whole operation. I'm sure this guy Saladin is enough of a fuck-up. A hundred percent. With Hassan out the way, he gonna think he king anyway. He gonna fuck up royally. I guarantee you that. Nah, nah. Don't worry about it. 
It's going to get handled. Yo, listen, man, I really talked to Solid D. You know what I'm saying? Like, I gave him 24 hours. Consider this merger done. I'm in or what? We'll see. Trust him. You really think he's gonna let the kings into the umbrella? I got no choice. This is why you wanna make sure Solid D fucks up. So we can keep our end of the bargain. You got that? That's another problem. You got that. I need to make some quick money to get Haas out. Saladin <laughs> turned out to be a dud. And I can't hit a lick out here without Haas. There's no one else I trust with my life besides you. And uh, no offense, you're not much protection. Pretty as fuck, but neither one of us have held a gun before. Yeah, but I could get a knife and cut a motherfucker. I could protect you. Oh, that's so sweet. But I could never put you in jeopardy. If something happened to you, I would never forgive myself. What am I gonna do? Come on. Where we going? We going down to Sugar Shack to get you a job. I need money bad, but I don't think I could sleep with random men. And besides, how you know he gonna get me a job? You kidding me? He's been trying to get me to bring you down here since he first saw you. Trust me, you good. Besides, you're not gonna get Hassan Bell money up by getting a nine to five. That shit gonna take forever. We need a quicker come up. We? Yes, bitch. We, me and Hassan is family. We grew up together. You think you in this alone? If I gotta turn a few extra tricks to raise the money to put the family back together, then that's what I'ma do. You in or out? Yeah, but I'm only working a register or serving food. I'm staying out of those back rooms. <laughs> that's what they all say. Yeah. 
real stay low key. Raised by them OGs. Keep my head up, never fold it. If I'm taking shots, you could call me cold. I don't play around. Nah. Ain't no games on this part of town. We wait for you to set up shop. And then we shut it down. I ain't in the fucking talking, I'm in the pistol sparking. Yeah. A deuce, deuce, a turn. All your little kids to orphans. This is Brick City. Hey, hey. Careful where you niggas walking. Real. These killers put a hole in your head like dolphins. Real. I've been baking up beans, never been to Boston. Flossing so hard, I only roll with the bosses. Take a picture, paint a portrait of a king in this fortress. I am fly as a saucer. I am high out in the orbit. If it's money, I'm all for it. If it's beef, I get you skewed. Face all on the news. It's a jungle, one rule. Get food, that's survival. When your idol turns rival, you can battle for the title. It's true. For real, it's true. I'm just getting to the bag, though, to get my kids all the shit that I never had, though. Oh, jeez. Yeah, you niggas know me. Gotta get this money and stay low-key. Raised by them old jeez. Keep my head up, I never fold it. If I'm taking shots, you could call me raised by them old jeez. Yeah, you niggas know me. Gotta get this money and stay low-key. Raised by them old jeez. Keep my head up, I never fold it. If I'm taking shots, you could call me Kobe.